Welcome to GD News. Welcome to GD News. Welcome to GD News. Welcome to GD News, your number one source for Geometry Dash news. The main story for today is all the news surrounding Silent Club Step, probably the most iconic silent level of all time. Several top players of Geometry Dash have been grinding at Silent Club Step these past few months, and now more and more players are hopping into the race to verify this level first. Vision has been playing Silent Club Step for two years now, and has been setting new world records every couple weeks. His most recent run was scoring 12 to 100% and achieving a 65% run from zero, which is almost the world record. Paco beat that record by getting 0.09% farther into 65%, just barely beating Vision's record. Soon after, she managed to get 72%, which is even crazier. There is a very high chance that we'll be seeing Silent Club Step be verified in the very near future, which is unbelievable. If you would like to know more about the history of Silent Club Step, I'd highly recommend watching this video put together by Stormfly and Iced Cave. I wish the best of luck to everybody trying to verify this. Also in the news, Geometry Dash Lite has been updated, adding Electro Dynamics and Club Step to the levels list. But unintentionally, RobTop leaked a whole bunch of 2.2 code and over 400 unreleased icons. Firstly, it's been revealed that there will be two official levels in the 2.2 update. Dash, which is likely the level we saw in the 2.2 trailer, will be a 12-star insane level. And Explorers, which is the song RobTop revealed a few years ago, actually is still in the game and it will be a 16-star demon level. 400 icons were leaked as well, but oddly enough only two cubes made it in. The rest are all other game modes. All of these icons look amazing and it makes me even more excited for 2.2 and a lot of people are hyped. PLA Enterprise on Twitter managed to find the game sheets which show a ton of new textures and triggers, featuring a lot of weird new stuff, like this boom thing here. He also found two new backgrounds, which look very nice. RobTop also announced there will be a second 2.2 trailer after the GD Lite update gets out on Android, and I'm gonna bet that trailer will be giving us a first look at Explorers, which I am so excited to see. Gravity, the official sequel to Moment, has been verified by Ice Cave. This level is created by Amza and Slayer, then handed to Ice Cave for some decoration polishing and eventually verification. This level has a cool vibe to it. I really like the colors and the density of the decorations especially. I can definitely see this getting star rated even despite the song not being on Newgrounds. Good job to everybody involved with this level. Cobwebs, a level made by Nine Dice and Taika, has been fully showcased and is set to be one of the shortest extreme demons if rated. This bite-sized extreme demon was nerfed to be a top 25 level, but Curse said that it's likely a top 10 level in his most recent progress video. Even despite its short length, I think this level has an incredible atmosphere that would make me personally send it to get rated. I look forward to seeing this verified. Good luck Curse on verifying this. This morning. I have finally launched memberships on my channel, and for just $2.99 a month, you can become an official Vortroxian and help support me so I can make more videos. You get the GD News Demon Face badge by your name, and access to four of my favorite emotes ever created. You will also get exclusive sneak peeks of my projects, like Welcome to GD News, I will thank you at the end of my videos, and you'll be able to participate in my members only chat if I ever have to put that on. Your support is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Back to GD News. Shardscapes, an exclusively robot extreme demon created by Kiba, has been verified by Aruni. This level is like the antichrist to most player skill sets, which usually involve being good at wave and ship. The progression in this level is beautiful, making its feature rating well deserved. This level is very unique and I look forward to seeing top players try this out. I think it'll be really funny to see their reactions to something they're not used to. A talented player by the name of Zoink has set a new record on Acheron of 91%. Zoink is criminally underrated. This guy has beaten the entire top 10 and is close to verifying a potential top 1, and yet he only has 3600 subscribers. You all better give this guy some love. I want to see him at 4000 subscribers by the next week. And finally, Viperin has posted a Google form for the GD Awards 2022 early to get votes for levels that might be forgotten by the time the November form comes in. This could also be since by the time November comes around, it is likely that 2.2 will already be out, and the levels we see will be much different, so it's good that he's having two forms, one for each half of the year. 
And with that, I conclude this episode of GD News. I would greatly appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.